For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Today, SoFi Technologies, which is a financial technology powerhouse listed under the ticker SoFi, experienced a noticeable dip in its stock value, falling by 12.5% as of 9.45 in the morning Eastern Time. This decline came in the wake of the company's earnings report, which, despite surpassing analyst expectations in both revenue and earnings, prompted a significant market reaction. The third quarter results showcased SoFi's transition to a profitable state with its earnings per share reaching $0.05, cents, which edged above the widely anticipated $0.04 cents per share. Breaking down the earnings, the company's adjusted revenue surged by a remarkable 30% on a year-over-year -year basis, culminating in an impressive $689,450,000. This figure notably exceeded the $631,600,000 that analysts had predicted. Such robust revenue growth has been primarily driven by the company's ongoing success in its financial services and technology platform segments. These segments, increasingly central to the company's strategic vision, have proved to be strong growth engines for the company, with both segments demonstrating significant resilience and contributing heavily to overall revenue gains. The chief executive officer of the company emphasized the substantial role of these divisions within the company's broader operations. According to Noto, the financial services and technology platform segments now account for a record 49% of the company's adjusted net revenue, up from 39% in the previous year. This growth marks a notable shift in the company's revenue composition and signifies a strategic move towards a more capital-efficient, higher return model that places a premium on fee-based revenue streams rather than capital-intensive lending. He attributed the shift to deliberate steps taken by the company to pivot toward a model that yields higher return on equity, emphasizing a more sustainable and scalable approach. Looking deeper into the company's growth in its customer base, the third quarter alone witnessed the addition of over 756,000 new members, illustrating the company's effective appeal across its target markets. In total, the company's member base has expanded by 35% year over year, bringing the total membership count to nearly 9,400,000. This uptick in membership signals that the company's offerings continue to resonate with an increasing number of users, as it seeks to cement its presence as a key player in the financial technology landscape. Beyond these immediate results, the company's management has presented a favorable outlook for the remainder of the fiscal year. The company has updated its net revenue guidance, now projecting a range between $2,540,000,000 and $2,550,000,000, which notably surpasses its prior guidance of $2,430,000,000 to $2,470,000,000. Additionally, the company has raised its adjusted earnings per share forecast, now expecting a range of 11 to 12 cents per share, an increase from its earlier guidance of 9 to 10 cents. By contrast, analysts had anticipated earnings per share to settle at around $0.10, cents, with revenue expected to come in at $2,460,000,000, indicating that the company's revised guidance remains ahead of market predictions. Moreover, the company's vision for 2024 remains ambitious, with management targeting the addition of at least 2,300,000 new members over the coming year, which would represent a 30% increase year over year. This projection signals the company's intent to maintain an aggressive growth trajectory as it leverages both its existing product suite and new innovations to drive further membership and revenue gains. When examining analyst sentiment, we find that views on the company stock are currently mixed. The stock holds a consensus rating of hold, composed of four buy ratings, six hold ratings, and three sell ratings. Over the last 12 months, the company shares have appreciated by more than 60%, underscoring the stock's ability to deliver solid gains despite its recent volatility. However, the average price target of $8.63 suggests that analysts expect a potential downside of 22.8% from its current levels based on the latest market evaluations. These ratings, however, may see adjustments in light of the company's recent results and updated guidance, as analysts incorporate this new data into their forecasts and assessments. The combination of strong revenue growth, an expanding customer base, and a positive forward guidance showcases the company's potential to scale as a leading financial technology platform. With a strategic shift towards more sustainable fee-based revenue models, the company appears well-positioned to balance growth and profitability moving forward. To summarize, 
the company has delivered a strong performance for quarter three, with growth driven by financial and technology services divisions and favorable adjustments to its revenue and earnings expectations. Membership continues to grow steadily, and analysts are keeping a cautious yet watchful eye on the company's stock performance, which may prompt re-evaluation based on these latest results. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.